What's good, folks? How you living? It's your boy, the Mixed Monster, DJ Coach K here, and welcome to Ask a Real DJ. DJs, DJs, uh, a while back I asked some questions to a few people to see where their heads was at as far as what they're doing as DJs. And you know what? Each and every one of them had said no to at least one of these questions, or maybe more. They said no, and I'm going to give you some examples of what they their rebuttals were as to why these things was a no. I don't have a company logo. I don't know how to create one. I don't have business cards. I don't know where to find them. I don't have a company website. Too expensive. I can't afford it. I don't have a company email address. Why? Because I use Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo. Really? I don't have the same phone number because Sometimes I can't pay my phone bill, so my number has to change. Seriously? So let me ask you this question. Are you just in this thing to be a DJ to get a few gigs, or are you trying to create a business? A DJ company, a DJ business. Which one are you? I'm asking that question. Okay, because here's the deal. I hear a lot of DJs talk about, oh my goodness, I should have had that gig. I'm better than this DJ. I'm more talented than that DJ. That DJ's whack. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Well, what's stopping you from getting those gigs? Huh? That the less talented DJs are getting? You. Why are you? Yes, you. You, 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 mother. Mm. Yeah, you. Understand. Being a DJ myself... There are a lot of things I hear DJs go through that causes great stress. And I mean great stress that I've learned to minimize over the years by doing the simple things to avoid having to deal with the daily BS of being a DJ. I enjoy more pros than cons now in this industry than the average DJ could even think about. See, over the years, I've dealt with the backstabbing DJ. I've dealt with the undercut DJ. I've dealt with the non-paying promoter. I've dealt with the cheap old clients. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I've been there, done that. Yet, instead of folding because, you know what? This is garbage. It's stressful. I can't take it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Somebody called my mama for the drama. I became wiser, and I've overcome all of these obstacles. For starters, you know, I got with a few friends and we created a company. It's called Dustin Dreams Off Entertainment. We've been in business for nine years now. We got it licensed. We got it insured. We got a company logo. We created business cards. We created a website that allowed us to create professional email addresses. And we've had the same, the very same phone number since we started this business. Now, the budget back then was less than 100 bucks. Let me tell you, when we started, yeah, we was in the red because it was less than 100 bucks. So we went from less than 100 bucks to negative whatever. We were in the red. All right. But as time went on, over time, we were able to see ourselves in a place of achieving that beautiful thing called being in the black. Profit. Ching, ching. Yeah, that. Profit. See, no longer do we see negative $100, but we see $100 in the account. All right? Because you know something is all about that commitment to your success, what you put into it. What are you putting into that commitment to get you to be a successful DJ? Now, while COVID-19 has slowed things down, I get it. This, to me, is just a bump in the road. Because like every successful company, I'm going to tell you like this. We all go through it. We see our highs. We see our lows. Yet we push forward to rebound, and that's what we shall do. If you deal with the stock market, I'll give you a prime example. If you deal with the stock market, the stock market is one thing that fluctuates. See, some days is up here, then some days is here, then some days is down there, some days is like this. Okay? 
and then some days it might just go up and then come back down and that you get my picture okay now if you want more gigs you gotta do something here you can't act like the one DJ that's operated under the table getting paid like a regular Joe in the sense that okay I'm going to rock at this club and get $50 on a drink ticket. That mentality right there, cut it out right now. Need to start operating as a business, a brand, a company, etc. Even in nightclubs. Yeah, most will say, oh, but that's highly impossible. No, it's not. You still build your brand. You still build your company. You still build your business even in the nightclub scene. Because you'll be surprised what you can do when you innovate yourself. Take note, people respect and trust the business more than they'll ever trust a person and respect a person that just says, I'm a DJ from around the way. Think about that for a minute. Really think about that. Start your company. Give it a name. Come on, man. Get a license. Get insured. You know, I'm going to do a whole thing on that one. Insurance and the DJ. Create your logo your company website, your professional email, not Hotmail, Yahoo, Gmail, okay? Business cards, once all of this done, promote your brand all day, every day, business cards, business cards, hand them out, you do those like, it's going out of style, and matter of fact, you act like you're at American Express, you never leave home without them, as they used to say, okay? I leave my house every day to go do something. And well, now all it is, is is to walk the dog. Yet I still carry five business cards minimum. If I at a gig, I carry a small black case that has 25 cards in them automatically. And whenever someone asks for a business card, I'm able to give them a business card. And when I get home, I refill it till it's 25 again. However many business cards I had to give out. Because here's the deal. There was a time, oh my goodness, I rocked this school party for my little cousin Sarah. Shout out to my little cousin Sarah. You know, her mom, my cousin Kelly, shout out to her. It was one of the teachers and she hired me to do this school dance for Sarah's classmates and all of that. Went there, rocked it out, did my thing, got it in for these kids. Oh my goodness, they had my head ringing. They were screaming. But here's the point. As great as it was, when someone came up to me, it started a domino effect of, do you have a business card? And you know what? This day, I didn't have a business card. So I had a whole bunch of people coming to me saying, do you have a business card? Do you have a business card? Do you have a business card? And you know what? I wound up losing out. I'm not going to tell you how I lost out, but I wound up losing out in the long run because of that. Because I didn't have any business cards. So I vowed to never walk out my house ever again without my business cards. All right? Your contact information, such as your phone number, and your professional email address should be consistent on your business cards as well. And they should never change. You should do everything in your power to make sure they never change. You have a new number each and every month because you're not paying your bill on time. And you have to get a new phone, you're going to lose out. If you have an email address that you're not checking because you keep forgetting your password and you, you're adding new emails and whatever you have on your business card is what the client rings for, you know, they email you to find out where you're at and what's your availability, you're losing out because you're not checking that email because you lost your password and you don't know how to get it back. Even though there's a big old thing that says, forgot my password. Some people just don't get it. I'm not even getting into that one. All right, you're gonna lose out. Here's the deal. Being licensed as either sole proprietor, proprietor, LLC, or full corporation sounds expensive, but is inexpensive. More than you realize, it all depends on how you're doing things. But the benefits in the long run will speak for themselves, okay? They will pay off. Here's a, a tip that I, I tell everyone because I'm no marketing wizard or all of that craziness. Uh, no professional or all that crazy. Not even from a marketing standpoint. Speak to a tax professional. Let's talk about that. 
like a certified accountant to see what suits you best and get a sound plan on the tax tips and all of that stuff that will help you out in the process. All right. Like I said, insurance as a, a mobile DJ, we'll talk about that later, but that should be a must because there are many DJs out there that operate without it. And you know what? They don't realize the chances they're taking. That could anything, I mean, anything could happen that possibly puts them in a position of being in a lawsuit. Like I said, I'll do another video on that. But you should be insured as a DJ. You know something? What I found in doing these things we're talking about helped increase my bottom line profit wise that I had to say to myself what was I thinking and not doing these things yet this is where they say lesson is learned being a business a company a corporation a brand however you want to say it is what you want to be if you're serious about moving forward as a professional DJ now, if this is just a hobby to you, then by all means, rock out when you want, where you can, and when you want to. Yet, if this is about being a professional DJ, you need to start acting like a professional and be a professional DJ that wins as a professional. Bottom line, do yourself a favor, like, love, follow me, and all that good stuff. On Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at DJ Coach K. Also right here on YouTube. Subscribe to me below. Make sure you press that little bell on the side so you can get notice of when I have my next video being uploaded. All right? So you want to do all those things. In the long run, just remember, you want to be a professional? Be a professional. You want to be the average uh, DJ that just does from time to time? Then be that. But if you want to be a professional and you're serious about it, take my words to heart. I promise you this. You're going to win in the long run if you do these little simple things I'm telling you to do. I have not been in this industry just to be a DJ. I've been in this industry for the love of being a DJ. All right? Of course, I got potential spam coming to my cell phone. Anyway, it's your boy, the Mixed Monster, DJ Coach K, saying I'm up, I'm out of here. Wouldn't want to be here. Salute. Deuces.